Anybody that's ever been resurrected. Death wants to kill them all. Then we fight. Let's go Reaper Reaper. You're the big man here. You think it'll work? This is all I got. The plan has changed. I'd like to see you dead. Everyone asks about the Winchesters. This is from Winchestlsbn. Uh, everyone asks about the Winchesters, but for you, what is the perfect ending for Castiel? <clears throat> Great question. And I can tell you, uh, Winchestlsbn. Is that a is that a family name? What part of what part of the world are your ancestors from? Um, I will tell you that the ending that we have uh, scripted for Castiel is a very final ending. It is uh, pretty much exactly what I would have wished for. Um, so I'm going to just tell you that the ending that Castiel uh, that you will see for Castiel is the ending that I would have uh, wanted. I can't. No! That was fun. Watching him die. Jack. Help me! Jack! 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 Hey! Jack! Louder, please. Take me in his stead. Take me. You. I'm the one you want. I'm the one who woke you up. You. But you're already mine. Not for years. Eons, maybe. But if you'll agree, I will go now, and I will go willingly. Deal. Oh, <laughs> but not now. <laughs> no, you see, I, I meant what I said. I, I want you to suffer. I want you to go back to to your normal life and, and forget about this and forget about me and, and then when you finally give yourself permission to be happy and let the sun shine on your face that's when I'll come that's when I'll come to drag you to nothing I accept something goes wrong and I don't make it back there's something you and Sam you need to know I love you too I didn't say I love you I know what you wanted to say it I, 
I loved how angels unfolded on the show. It was actually kind of funny. I created this character in my mind as the first angel on the show. Who are you? Castillo. Yeah, I figured that much. I mean, what are you? I'm an angel of the Lord. I haven't been around humans in thousands of years. I don't really understand how they operate as beings. You gonna walk in there and tell them the truth? Why not? They seem somewhat alien to me. Because we're humans, and when humans want something, lie. And ergo, I, when I'm interacting with humans, come across as awkward and wooden, and I don't fit in. I'm a fish out of water. Yes. OK, so you can you know, pop in tomorrow morning. Yes. I'll just wait here, then. I established that as the first angel on the show, as how angels behave around humans. And how about you, handsome? Uh, uh, uh. And then all of the subsequent angels on the show didn't bother to reference what I had done, and they just came on and acted like normal people. And so suddenly, my character as this wooden, socially awkward angel was just a weird angel. What's up? Nothing. I'm just, uh, just staying in touch, like I do. And not actually how angels are at all. And that has been an interesting uh, thing for me to justify and work with over time. It's like, I'm actually just the awkward angel. It's not that angels themselves are awkward. Something on your mind? No. This call is pointless. My ride's here. Maybe it's just the wind. You only tolerate the angel because you think you owe him. Because he gripped you tight and raised you from perdition. Or whatever. You should go. Cares, come on. No, you listen to me. You... Look, thank you. Thank you. Knowing you, it... it's been the best part of my life. And the things, of... the things we've shared together, they have changed me. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.